Hey everyone, now this isn't going to be too technical, I'm just going to show you how to set up a mosaic in uh, VLC so you can get something like this from a bunch of different video sources and just display them as the, the one new video source. So this is one of the reasons I've got a TV server, not to watch TV but for testing video and things like this. So this is a bit extreme, I've got 25 here in a 5x5 mosaic. Um, that needs a bit of processing power to make but um, I'll just go through and show you how to do a, a 2x2 one which will show you how it's done and then you can just modify that to suit your own needs. Okay, now I'm going to set up a 2x2 mosaic of just some TV stations and to do that you need a, a config file, a VLM config file. So I've got one here and I'll just go through what's in it. So here I'm setting up four streams. These are the input um, streams, so one, two, three, four. And the output is this one down here. So for instance, if I just show you what's coming in or what's serving on that first stream, if I open that in VLC just by itself normally, you'll see what's there. And it's just a TV station. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and uh, same as this one, if I go to another one, it'll be a different TV station. Okay, so that's from the TV server, that's where these are sourced. Now the first thing you want to think about is what output resolution you want this thing to be. So I'm just going to use standard high def, so 1920 by 1080. So what you need is a background image for when there's no video and as it starts up, it needs this background image. Now I've just created one called bg.jpg and uh, if you have a look at what that is, it's just a, just a blank white thing here and if you have a look at the dimensions of it, you can see it is 1920 by 1080. So here is where the output's set up. So it sets up, first of all, that uh, image, and duration just means keep playing it forever. Now this bit here is very important, the frame rate. Even though there's uh, all these video sources here are 25 frames a second, the default frame rate of a video image is something like 10 or 15 or something lousy. So if you don't put that here, this whole line of course, then the output will be really choppy. So what do we got? Well, you can probably see four channels, okay? And what I'm doing as for each channel that comes in, I've picked half the width and half the height of what the output will be. So the output will be 1920 by 1080. So I'm using half of that here uh, for the width and height because obviously I'm gonna use half the screen for each. If it was a, a three by three, you'd have to do that into thirds and same with four and five, which conveniently the 1920 by 1080 is divisible by a whole lot of numbers. So I don't know if that was by design, but it certainly works out well. Now this second one here is the one I'm using for sound. So the reason this looks a bit different is because I'm using the sound from that second stream. None of the others will have sound. I'd like to find a way to have different audio tracks from the different uh, stream inputs, but I haven't found a way to do that and I'm not too worried about it, but it would be nice. But for now, by doing this, um, it makes the audio come from this second stream. So you do that for one, two, three, and four. Obviously you've got your, your four channels that we're using here. And they're constructed, as I said, down the bottom here. So we create this new broadcast we're sending out. As I said, the background image, the duration of it, the frame rate, and all this stuff here is to set the, the output stream. So it's the, it's the standard uh, VLC syntax, but again, I'm just, I don't know this off by heart, the format of this, it's a bit out there for my liking. But anyway, what this will do is it'll grab those, it'll set them up, as I said, it'll put that video codec on there, 25 frames a second, the audio codec none, I mean, audio will come out of this, so again, I don't quite understand it, but I know this is what needs to be done. And here's the funky filter. So there's the mosaic and all the bits, and as I said, the the uh, dimensions and also the format of it. So there's going to be two columns and two rows. And then the position, these are just which order to put them. So I'm just going one, two, three, four, meaning in the same order that I've got here, this channel one, two, three, and four. Uh, keep the aspect ratio, blah, 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 keep this, bridge it out. Now this here says to send it out to the network in real time protocol on that, um, that UDP multicast group and port 20,000. So that's pretty much it. So to run that, you could use VLC and then say use a VLM conf and the name of the file. So in this case, it's Mojek 4 tv And that'll start up VLC. Now, I don't know if you saw that, that popped up over there. So VLC is running, it's not displaying it locally on there, but it is running on there. 
And if I go to my existing VLC that I had, and I open that stream that we set up, 239123, if I click on that, there's the four uh, stations and, and the sound sounds from that second one as, as I set it to be. Now, if you're running this on a headless server, that is one that doesn't have a monitor or, or a desktop kind of thing, you, you don't really want to use VLC to start this, but you can use CVLC, which is the command line version. So what I'll do, and I'll also show you that background again while we put that there. If I just start the stream that we're expecting it on, there's nothing coming in because I haven't started it. But if I start it with CVLC instead of VLC, you'll see there's our background until the streams start coming in. And there they go. So that is how you can do that. Also just whipped up another one for the, uh, for the cameras. So you've got uh, you know, cameras around the place. Uh, you could also do the same sort of thing. And really, you can do any video source. You could use your webcam as one of them, um, TV for another, whatever. Okay, you saw how they, they fit into VLC. You can just modify that how you wish. Now, if you want to make one like this with 25 of them, where you've got, you know, five by five, you'll, you'll have to have a powerful machine to do that because it takes a lot of processing power. It's got to, you know, process the video from 25 of them and re-encode one live to head out. But the displaying machine, obviously, it only sees one stream that's already just one station as far as it's concerned. So the, the device playing it doesn't have to be that powerful. A Raspberry Pi can do that easily. It's just a standard video stream on the output. But just keep in mind, don't expect it to do this on a Raspberry Pi to encode all this. It just won't happen. So there it is. That's how you set up a Mojang using VLC. Now I'll put that uh, config in the info so that I and everyone else can refer to it whenever you want. That'll do for now. So until next time, take it easy.